Hello everyone. Wanted to uh, start off by thanking everyone uh, by watching my videos. I really appreciate the growth I'm seeing in the channel. Um, want to just continue making these. I really appreciate uh, everything one watching and hope to you keep on seeing you. Uh, today's video is going to be my normal test route going to my house and my parents house uh, just to see if we can make a zero disengagement drive. I have decided now to kind of give up Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. <laughs> this person's probably like, why are you not slowing down? I'm actually gonna. Oh, God. God, I can't wait until gas cars are off the road. That smells so bad. Anyways, um, yeah. Didn't I <laughs> did not just see that until way too late. I think. The bright side is, I don't think Radar might have seen that at all. It was a crossways car, sideways on the road, not moving um, on the tutelie. Um And I just, yeah, I think that would have been an issue with Radar. So obviously Vision saw it, just not quick enough. And hey, look at this. I, why, I'm glad there's no one behind If there's someone behind me, I would be intervening right now, but... Um, that's it's just that can't happen perhaps i'm gonna just start pressing the accelerator just to give it more confidence and i think it would learn i think it's gonna learn to give more confidence so at this point i'm just gonna do a time lapse of the highway and then we'll see when back off So that's good. Um, how that handled that turn, though, it needs God. It's a little bit quicker, God. Freaking car! It gets over. It doesn't do anything. And then the car behind me is going 20 faster than I am. Okay, so it didn't do that well. But what it did do well is it turned the blinker on when it got up to that truck and went to go over. And then this red car in front of me started going quicker. And then um, it didn't change lanes because it was starting to, it was in my blind spot which is what we want to see but the problem is it messed up and then cut off this car going up behind and this car see this is what happens these cars get pissed off at me for going too slow Jesus no I don't want to get behind this truck see this is the problem which is why I don't like automatic lane changes it's exactly why I don't like automatic lane changes don't because it will get over. I'm not going quick enough for the left lane, and then it doesn't want to get back in the right lane. Then it wants to get back in the right lane tailgate a truck, which is going like one mile an hour less than the speed limit. And so that that's the problem with automatic lane changes for me. It just, it, it, and it will vary based on each area. Some areas you might, going five over, you might be the speed demon. In this area, definitely not. People go 80 in a 65 in this area all day long, and they just will cut you off. And now, see, you see this traffic coming in? I need to get over, which is what I'm going to do. This RV is not going to be quick enough. The car doesn't do that, so I'm making it do that in this case. It wouldn't have gotten over it would, until it would have just slowed way down and back behind this RV, which is not what I want. this video but the car you so as you saw in that truck in front of me it swerved I think that car in front braked for the motorcycle on the right um, when it shouldn't have and that truck wasn't paying attention close enough or it was following obviously too close yeah um, I'm not 
not sure exactly what happened there, so I'm gonna have to review the footage. But again, we're gonna get off at this exit and guarantee it's not going to get off soon enough. A little bit sooner, but just not it's still not soon enough. It needs to immediately to start getting over as soon as as soon as it is able to. And yeah, see it's taking the wrong route. So I'm gonna have to cancel navigation here. Did that good? Immediately change a little bit more confident than it normally is. I'm actually gonna cancel our route to go straight and then I'll re enable the route from there. got over there purposely because you want to be in the left lane this area isn't really like stay in the right lane blah 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 and like um you just can be in whatever lane but people will pass you in the right people pass you in the left this isn't like a highway in this section of town but we also want to be in the left lane for a turn lane that's coming up so we don't have to get in this lane because usually there's a lot of traffic having to press the accelerator there they can make it go a little bit quicker one thing I hope they do and I think this is important when they have the button release at least for overall user comfort is that it memorizes where the user wants its speed so I want 35 here not 40 for my offset so I, I just hope in your like general area yeah obviously you'll set a five mile an hour offset when you um when you uh, go into an area unfamiliar, but any area where you regularly drive, uh, you should be able to set uh, set the speed and it will remember what speed you want for a specific area. If you want to go seven over in one area, or uh, 10 over in another, or two over in another area, it's good to go. I'm gonna have to press the accelerator to get it to go. Wrong lane, okay. No, that was a disengagement. It went in the wrong lane. I'm going to give it that. I'm not going to be that lenient. And of course, I'm going to stop here real quick to set off some trash and I'll be back. Okay, so obviously that's not going to give us a zero intervention drive for this one. What we're looking for now is that it doesn't just keep on going straight. That's our turn uh, down here at the bottom of the mountain. Um, that intersection we went through, because the lines are so bad, it's just, it's going to be a while, at least a few more versions probably before it gets that right. Uh, I've pressed the camera button a dozen plus times for various versions. Uh, it's gotten a little bit better, but it's, it's still not getting it. It just gets it by chance on the previous one. It just it couldn't get it this time. And so we're going to see if the day that happens is the day um, we'll get much more often zero disengagement drives on this, uh, on this specific route. What I'm also looking for, you'll see these turn lanes into the developments here that have really bad lines like this. That did it fantastic. Normally it would try and turn into that lane a little bit. And it, you felt a little bit of hesitation that it wanted to turn in the lane, but it definitely stayed going straight on the road. So every one of those turn lanes is what we're looking for on this road as well. Because notoriously for years, ever since I got the car, I would always want to go on these turn lanes, including this one. 
and it did great. It still needs to stay a little bit more right because it, it tries to go to the turn lane and then kind of meanders back to the main road. It needs to just know not to go over to that part of the road because the road doesn't widen. It's just that the lines aren't there. So right here is our main test. Obviously, there's no lines at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna disengage it, and just since we already have one, I'll make that two disengagements for this video. And this is going to be our test if for some reason it's if it still passes it I'm going to be very disappointed this because it hasn't it, it's done that once before the previous video so it's done it twice ever yeah like I don't like it almost tried to do it again like it almost tried to do it again it definitely is more confident turning into this this route though so this is basically going to be the end of our drive here um, if you have any questions down below, uh, please give us a comment. I think this drive is very close to zero interventions and, well, zero disengagements. Zero interventions is going to be a good bit away, um, for us. But otherwise, uh, I will see you guys in the next video, and I appreciate you watching as always. Bye.